Hey, and welcome to this video for Stroke Focus. Stroke Focus is a website dedicated to helping survivors of brain injuries, especially strokes, reclaim their lives. Now, before we get started, let's go ahead and start by signing up. On the Stroke Focus website in the top right hand corner, you'll notice that there's a sign up button. And if you haven't already signed up, go ahead and click on sign up. Now here you'll need to put in your name, email address, and create a password, and then we'll click on the continue button. Okay, and here now it's asking us to enter our time zones. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a time zone here, and then we're gonna select from a list of groups. So here we can see the different groups that would potentially apply to us. So just scroll through this list of different groups and select the groups that most apply to you. Now you'll notice that as you're going through and selecting some, you can select more than one. Once you've selected your groups, click on the tab here to agree to the terms and click on sign up. Alright, so once you've signed up, you can see here that this is the main interface of our site. And there's a ton of great resources here for brain injury survivors. Now let's go ahead and start by going to the Help Me page. In our Help Me page, you can see that there's a number of different questions other users have asked. Now anytime you can go ahead and click on the link to any questions that have already been asked to see the answers that have been provided. So you'll notice that there are many users on the site just like you who have experienced some kind of traumatic injury and they're looking for answers just like you. So you can look through the different answers that are available, you can add comments. If you have any kind of feedback that may help that user who's already asked a question, or you can just reference the answers that have already been provided to help answer any questions that you may have. Now going back here, at any time you can click on this button to create a brand new question. So if there's anything that you want to know more about or anything that you need answered, you can go ahead and structure a new question here by creating a title, enter a description of the question that you want to ask, choose an applicable category, and you can also add in a thumbnail if you want, change your privacy settings, add some tags, and click on the save button. This will post your question and community members will be able to provide answers to whatever questions you may have. All right, and next we're gonna look at topics and blogs. Under topics and blogs, first we'll go ahead and look at different topics. And you can see here that there are some different topics that we can look through. And we can go ahead and just choose one of these that we wanna look at. Again, all the content on the site here is user-driven, so you're gonna see comments around here on each of these different articles or pages that you're loading. You can also leave comments on any articles or pages that you find here. And you can see that if there's a particular page that you really like, you can click on the favor button. You can also choose to like the content or share it with friends if you like. And going back here, you can see that it's very easy if you want to create a new topic as well. If there's anything particular you're looking to find, if you click in the keyword field here, go ahead and enter a keyword that you'd like to search for. And optionally, you can choose a category or how you'd like to sort. Uh, and then you can go ahead and click on submit once you filled in that information. So now I can just go ahead and scroll through this list to find pages that might interest me. So this is our topics section. You can also go to blogs and here you can browse through available blogs as well as create new entries. And you can also go to our stroke library. Let's go ahead and click on stroke library here and you'll find a ton of resources available to you with very valuable information. On the side here you're going to be able to find all the different categories. Let's go ahead and click on the plus button next to popular stroke sites. Here we can scroll down and choose a 
subcategory, and you'll find a bunch of great resources here. So let's go ahead and just choose one. Now again, as in the blogs and topics section here, uh, you can actually like or favor these different articles. You can also share them with your friends and family. Comment down below, or if you like at the top here, you can click on this view original article button uh, to go to the original location that the article was written. All right, and another thing that we can look at here is recipes. So under public resources, if you click on recipes, you're gonna be able to browse through a ton of great recipes that really help those who have suffered from some kind of a traumatic uh, brain injury. So here are some user-driven recipes that uh, others have mentioned, and you can go ahead and just browse through these different options and find some that might appeal to you. You'll notice that the way that these recipes are structured are very, very easy to follow. So you have the ingredients listed, a description of what you'd be cooking, as well as the preparation cook and ready in time. You can also look through the different tips that would be listed on how to create these recipes. If available, you might find some photos of the meal, and you can even look through the videos tab here, which will have resources available to help you with cooking. Now, I did want to go back here and click on this Home tab uh, to show you some of the features that admins are going to have access to on Stroke Focus here. So here you can see that you have access to uh, a lot of different things from this dashboard here. Your name will appear here. You'll receive notifications for different updates on articles, uh, different actions taken by others who you might be following or viewing and managing their content. You can view messages by clicking on the messaging tab here. And if you want to send a message to a user, click on the send new message button here. Choose who you want to send it to, put in a subject and a message. But also, just so you know, you'll be able to send bulk emails as well. So if you want to send emails to everyone that you uh, would frequently need to send information to, you can just send a bulk email to everyone at once and send that message through here as well. Now as we scroll down here are some other things to look at. You can easily invite friends from this tab here. Uh, you'll be able to see all upcoming events. And here under my stuff you have a lot of great information. You'll be able to look at all the groups that you're a member of. This will just appear here. You can also look at your blogs, your photos, videos, etc. And another thing that I did want to mention, which we'll just take a quick look at here, as you're posting and commenting on different uh, pages here, you're able to actually comment under a pen name. So you don't necessarily have to have your actual first and last name on our website because some people may want to stay anonymous when they're posting content on Stroke Focus, especially if you've gone through a traumatic experience. It may be something you're not comfortable sharing with your name attached. So you can use a pen name if you like when you're posting content on these pages. All content that you post can also be automatically shared on Facebook or Twitter. And again, you'll be able to be notified when people are commenting on anything that you've posted as well. All right, so let's take a look at how we can create events. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to this upcoming events tab here and click on create new event. Now this is a pretty powerful feature here. When you're creating a new event, you can provide an event title here. Select from available categories, choose a location, put in the address where that event is going to be held and specify the date that it's going to occur. You'll provide your information here and you can go ahead and format that however you like. There's some really powerful functions here to be able to modify the font, text, color, you can add in images, emoticons, things like that.
But also here you can see that there's an option to limit your RSVP. So you can just use this up arrow here to increase that number or manually put in a specific number. So another interesting thing is that only those who have actually been RSVP'd in are going to receive that information on how to join the meeting. So this will keep things a little bit more private. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to talk about here is a very interesting way that you can post content uh, by sending an email to our address. So what you'll be able to do is actually create a post under topics by just sending an email from Outlook or your normal email provider. So to do this, all you have to do is send an email to discuss at strokefocus.net. And this is again going to convert that email into a post under topics. And if anyone responds, the system will email a notification. So this is a pretty cool way to be able to post content without actually having to even be logged into the website. Especially if you're on the go and you wanted to post something uh, while you're just using your smartphone, for example, you can just send a quick email from there and the content will be posted. All right, so this has been a quick video on some of the many great features offered here on strokefocus.net, a great community for brain injury survivors, helping you to overcome any challenges you may come across. That's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a great day.